I must have coached three to four eight meter long jumpers and I've never met them. Recently, my channel surpassed 25,000 subscribers. That's a lot of people. And I'm really grateful for all of those 25,000 people who have subscribed to the channel and the millions of views that the channel has accumulated over the four years since I set it up. I guess I should celebrate the 25,000 subscriber moment and also have a little regroup on how the channel started and outline some of the plans that I have for the channel in future. So perhaps in true YouTuber fashion, we should have a little recount and regroup as to how the channel started and also take a look at where it could head in the next four years. Really, the channel started four years back as a means to monitor and record the training that I was doing with my current or then current group of athletes. It suddenly dawned on me that I was collating all these videos on my phone at the time looking at them and then not really going back and revisiting the content. So I thought let's put them together into some videos and upload them to YouTube where my athletes and potentially some others may get some benefit. Additional benefit also came to me as a coach in that I was forced to really look at what I was recording and I began to get more and more analytical and I began to understand that I didn't know as much about long jumping in particular at that time as I thought I did. The channel has enabled me to get to real grips, to dive into the technical aspects of the long, the triple jump and sprinting. And along the way, it's also opened up some doors for me. I've had athletes come over from abroad to train in London with me. I've also been invited to do presentations for governing bodies of athletics from Ireland to Belgium to England, for example. And I've also had the opportunity to go to various symposiums and events around the world to learn myself from expert coaches such as Goran Obradovich, coached at Ivana Spanovic, and Dan Paff, the renowned American coach, for example. Also, of course, recently, I've started to be able to test equipment and I think this is a value, an added value to the channel as well, in that it enables me as a coach to trawl through the devices to really see if they can help athletes in training. And here I trade on my journalistic background. Some of you may or may not know that I've been a magazine editor in the past. As the channel developed, I became aware that I didn't want it to be an elite level channel. There are a few other track and field channels out there and they often can focus on elite athletes only. The majority of us in athletics land, shall we call it, track and field land, coach athletes of lesser standards, just as dedicated, just as motivated, but they're not going to win an Olympic medal or get to a world championships. So there's a vast amount of us working out there that need to know how to coach that level of athlete to take them to their optimum level of ability. And I think that's something that's resonated with the subscribers and viewers of the channel. I've had lots of positive feedback as well from, again, all over the world with people sound, trying to sound humble here, but thanking me for the drills and videos that I post and saying that they've been really effective with helping them. I must have coached three to four eight meter long jumpers and I've never met them. They've contacted me to say how the videos have helped them achieve that 26 feet distance. Really great news and it's great again to know that the videos are helping. Over the four years, my training group has seen members come and go. There have been consistent people that you'll recognize from the video, such as Sarah and Paul. And you'll have also noted that I have a number of younger athletes now coming through and hopefully I'll be able to share their journey with you over the next few years to see what level they can reach. As a coach, I want to optimize the ability of the jumper, the sprinter that comes to me, whatever that optimization level may be. So what about the future of the channel? Well, hopefully for the next year, I plan to still upload a video a week which is normally on a Friday. After that who knows 
Perhaps I'll have reached a saturation point with the type of videos that I can produce. Maybe I'll drop down to a lesser frequency of production, but we'll see. As long as you guys are watching the videos, responding to the videos, asking questions through YouTube and my other social media, then I plan to continue. So do keep those questions coming in. Now there is something else that I have been thinking about and that's covering other events. For example, the hurdles and the high jump. So if you're interested in that particular development, then do leave a comment in the section below. I've been coaching for about 15 years seriously. I had a little break after my international career as a long jumper came to an end in my 30s. I then went into journalism and became a magazine editor for various fitness titles in the United Kingdom. For example, Ultrafit magazine, which was at the higher end of serious fitness. And then I've edited Outdoor Fitness, and that was all about triathlon, swimming, biathlons, mountaineering, trail, trail running, mountain biking, and those types of activities. I've written regularly for Athletics Weekly and was their one-time performance editor but I've also written for football magazines, rugby magazines and various other titles. That's enabled me to pick up quite a lot of knowledge pertaining to sports preparation and how elite athletes and athletes at all levels and coaches operate. And that has really helped me in my understanding and my knowledge application. What do I love about being a coach? Well, seeing athletes improve regardless of their starting point and their ability. When an athlete achieves a personal best performance or does well in a major championships or any competition for that matter, their demeanor changes. They become happy, joyous, and that affects the coach as well. And it makes me feel good that I've helped them on that journey. Of course, seeing an athlete become an international, whether that be a junior or a senior international, gives the coach great pride as well. Coaching Elliot Asafo to European Junior Gold Medal back in 2013 in the long jump and a best of 7 meters 86 was obviously hugely satisfying. But also getting past some milestones in terms of distances for long and triple jump, 13 meter triple jumpers for women, 16 meters for men, 7 meters 80 plus for long jump, got to get an 8 meter jumper. Those achievements have been very very rewarding too because it's been the process the journey getting that person to be able to achieve that distance that milestone distance and hopefully i'll have eight meters 20 17 meters six meters 80 and 14 meters soon who knows well i hope this slightly different video celebrating the 25,000 subscriber milestone for the channel has kept you entertained you maybe have learned a few things about myself that you didn't know and hopefully you'll have picked up on some ideas and maybe have some ideas that you can tell me for the channel's future. Thank you for all you guys who have subscribed and for anybody who's stopped by and watched a video or two. And of course, I'd like to thank those who've become channel members. <music>